So Big Hospitality is here at the Restaurant Show on day one and I'm joined by Sat Baines of Restaurant Sat Baines in Oscombe. Thank you very much for joining us. So the restaurant is it's now eight years in business for you now at the restaurant. Just tell me a little bit how the restaurant industry has changed um, in the UK over that time. I think the restaurant industry has changed quite dramatically because the, a lot of the chefs now are all friends and we're all in the same age group. So what you notice, a lot of the chefs my age have been trained by the classical French techniques, but they're all British chefs now that are actually leading the main kitchens. So what that's also done is opened up a lot of doors. There's a lot of camaraderie. So we share things like staff, suppliers. So we're trying to make this whole cuisine of, the, of Great Britain into something that's kind of like a powerhouse that people take care, uh, notice, you know? And, uh, and uh, that's what I think has changed. Whereas you look at back at the Marco era and the Ramsey era, no one talked to each other. All the chefs now are open, they're talking to each other, we're using the same suppliers. We're telling someone, oh, you want to use this guy, this is my guy. I get staff sent to me from, say, Daniel Clifford. I send mine on to other restaurants. It's a real good camaraderie at the moment. I think it's been like that for the last few years, but I can see it only improving. Okay, and do you think that's a good thing for the industry? It's, like that it's a of... brilliant thing for the industry. It's making us all collective, um, pushing ourselves, but as a whole platform, rather than just a few individuals shining through. We're trying to raise the game for the whole country. So the restaurant's really highly regarded. You're ranked in the top 100 in the world, and you're ninth in the UK going into tonight's National Restaurant Awards. Um, what would you say have been the sort of real secrets to your success over that time? I'll be honest with you, I think it's the infrastructure we've got at the restaurant. It's about a team. And without that team, you can have all the vision in the world, but without that team believing in your vision, they're not going to deliver. So I'm very fortunate I've got a solid team. Uh, John Mahesh has been with nearly 10, 11 years, and he's uh, one of the kingpins of, of linchpins, sorry, why that's, that's happened. But it's also keeping excited about the industry, keeping excited about what's going on. You know, I travel, I see what's going on around the world, and then you kind of filter into the kitchen, but then you ultimately want your restaurant to be a, a destination restaurant. It doesn't matter that it's in Nottingham, it just happens to be in Nottingham, but I want people to come to taste the food. It's that fire, it never goes out. Yeah. And we were here this time last year at the restaurant show and I remember that you said then that a bit of aggression can beat the recession in a sense and you said that a bit of originality can make your restaurant really stand out from the crowd. Is that a point that you stand by and is it a mantra that you really live by at Restaurant Sat Baines? I think ultimately with people going out these days they're going to be a little bit tighter in the, in the purses. So you've got to offer something different, you've got to offer a better service or something original. But I still think good service and good food will always win. You don't always have to be original for the sake of it, I think you have to be honest. And people can taste that. People can taste honesty in a dish and service, they know that you're genuine, and they'll come back. It's a very simple equation. Yeah. Okay, so you think the, the, the centre point is really the food, that's where you should be starting. Food and service are right. kind of related, you know. If you yeah. go to a restaurant and you know yourself, you go for a good meal, yeah. service is bad, you won't go back. Yeah. It's hand in hand, front and back are the same. Yeah. Chefs need to understand that. We are one team. Yeah. It's not split, it's not them and us. Years ago, you know, we thought the front of the house were bunch of It's not yeah. true. They're part of the kitchen. The faster the chefs learn that, they're serving your dish. So then it's our dish, it's a collective, and it has to be like that. Right. And as I mentioned earlier, you just retained the two Michelin stars in the guide, which was released a couple of weeks ago now. Are you happy with that result, or are you really sort of gunning for a third? We never time? went for two. I don't know how to cook two-star food. It's something we don't talk about. We just cook the best we can every single day. We use some of the best suppliers in the UK. We've got the best team, in the, I believe, in the UK in the kitchen, and we've got an amazing front of house team. We try our best every single day. We start from zero. Every single day is a blank canvas. If you start wearing your accolades on your sleeve, I think you've lost it. You've got to prove yourself for every service, for every customer. It's as simple as that. That's why it's so hard. Yeah. And just finally, to have a restaurant running for so long, so consistently well under your name, is a really, really great achievement. Um, is there ever a point that you see yourself maybe opening a second restaurant? I'll be honest, I can't do what I do in Nottingham again. It's too hard. Okay. To get that level of consistency, it's just too hard and all my time and effort goes there. Yes, then maybe in the future do something a bit more chilled out, relaxed, and just like a brasserie kind of thing. Yeah, why not? But no plans at the moment. Okay. I'm just focusing on what we do at the restaurant. There's a real tough climate out there. We want to make sure every customer that walks in the door is blown away. Yeah. And the, the key aspect of what we're trying to do at the restaurant is, is flavour driven. You know, there's techniques out there, lots of chefs are doing it, and there's lots of um, trends and all that, but we just want, wherever you put in your mouth, you go, wow, how the hell do they get that flavour? So as long as we can keep that focus, that takes a lot of your effort. Okay, I'm going to speak to a lot of, a lot of other restaurateurs and they talk, when you ask them what's the, what sort of restaurants really stand out, they always say Sat Bain, restaurant Sat Bain. Well, right. that's very humbling, thank you very so much. So uh... do you think, um, like they always call for Sat Bain to be in London, to hit London, do you think there's ever a time that you'll be in London, you'll work? Not what we do in Nottingham, not that level, no. I mean, I mean, that's the truth. Right, okay. Unless Why I not? gave, it's too hard, it's too hard to do too. Right, okay. I love Nottingham, I love the region I'm in, um, I'm, I'm proud that people are travelling from all over the world to come to Nottingham. Why can't it be in Nottingham? You know, London sometimes is a bag of shit. let's get that straight, yeah? So it's a part. You know, I've been to restaurants that are brilliant, 
there's a faceless customer. It's, um, it's all corporate. They sit down, they're having a chat, the beautiful dishes put in front of them. Yeah, yeah, anyway, what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, let's have that meeting. They don't even look at the food. They come to us and they're like, oh my God, let's try this. It's not a pilgrimage, that's the wrong word. I don't want it to be precious, but the customers we get are so different. 95% of our food is. The people that travel to eat. In London, it's another thing, another two star. Yeah, let's go there. They don't, can't remember what they had. I'm not interested. So it's actually a benefit for you then, you'd say, in that it is, yeah. It's massive. You know, people are traveling from all over Europe and the world to, and London and, and all over. And we have to remember that. And we're in a very strange location. It's an industrial state. It's uh, near a cigarette factory. It's got a motorway going over it. It's not got everything that you would imagine a restaurant has. But it's that energy that's made us do what we do. It's a fire. So it's, it's, we've had to stand out. And by standing out, we've had to make sure what we offer is so much better right. than the average restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just finally, you got the book out? Is, is it coming out? When's the book's it? out on the 15th of October. It took us three and a half years. John's worked tirelessly on it with myself. But it's been a brilliant journey. It's almost like something that's kind of therapeutic. You look back. And I just hope that people get the story because the whole idea is that the exterior of the book is all graffiti. It's like a slip case with the pylon. So it shows you the exterior of the building. When you open it, it's got this lovely texture. It's like made out of material. Then you see the first part of the book is almost like the journey, the creative process. I asked about 30 chefs, why did you get in the trade? And they've all sent in stories that are hilarious. And these are chefs from all over the world. And um, you know, we're trying to do something original with the book as we do with the food. So hopefully it's something that people look at and go, you know what, I can see why it's took so long to, to get together and I can see why it's worth 75 quid. Yeah. Well, good luck with everything there at Restaurant Sat Baines and thank you very much for your time.